8 Things You Didn't Know About Child's Play 1. Don Mancini was inspired by the Cabbage Patch Kids. There are a lot of movies today based on killer dolls, but back in the 80s, Child's Play creator Don Mancini was inspired by the Cabbage Patch craze. Seeing how popular the toys were and how the marketing for them made people go crazy, Mancini decided to make a dark satire about how marketing affected children. 2. Andy and Chucky were almost blood brothers. Horror buffs are pretty familiar with the origins of Chucky. Originally however, the script had a completely different premise. The movie was first called Batteries Not Included and later changed to Blood Buddy. The first script had a plotline about the dolls having realistic flesh that could rip and bleed like a human. Children would then have to buy good guy bandages in order to fix and take care of their toy. Mancini has explained that the first idea was to have Andy accidentally cut his thumb, mixing his blood with Chucky's, originally named Buddy. This brought the doll to life and caused Chucky to attack the people that Andy didn't like, such as a mean babysitter or a teacher. 3. Tom Holland wasn't the only director considered. After writer John Lafia retweaked certain parts of the script, the people behind Child's Play felt confident enough to meet with directors. Tom Holland initially passed on the project, but he eventually agreed to direct the film. At the time, Tom Holland was most known for directing Fright Night. Before Holland signed on however, there were other directors that Don Mancini and producer David Kirshner talked with. Kirshner revealed that he talked to William Friedkin, director of The Exorcist, as well as Irvin Kirshner, director of The Empire Strikes Back. 4. Don Mancini never liked the voodoo plot line. While Child's Play is one of the most famous films featuring an evil doll, one element of the original film has always been odd, the voodoo. When Charles Lee Ray transfers his soul into a good guy's doll, he uses a voodoo ritual to do so. It's always been sort of a weird origin story, one that the filmmakers of the remake decided not to use. That being said, Don Mancini was never really a fan of the voodoo plotline. Writer John Lafia says it wasn't his idea though, saying his original idea was to have an inmate on death row transfer his soul into a good guy's doll as he was being executed. 5. It took 11 people to control Chucky. It took 11 different people to control Chucky, with a different person handling each part of his body to his legs to his eyebrows. Special effects shop supervisor Howard Berger once recalled it took them 27 takes to just get Chucky to hit a button to electric it a doctor. Chucky's aluminum fingers would often poke through the latex fingers, which ultimately started eating up costs. 8. Chucky was also played by Alex Vincent's sister. Ed Gale played Chucky for some of the more complex scenes of the film, while animatronics were used for the majority of close-up shots. However, Alex Vincent's sister dressed up as Chucky to film one scene. She can be seen in the movie as Chucky when the killer doll is chasing Maggie down the hallway. It's unknown why she was chosen, but it was likely because Gale looked too big to be a doll when running behind the actress. 